Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so I want to do a relatively quick video today, but I want to show, and in this I want to showcase the switch true technique. Now, if you've followed uh, a number of the, say, workshops I've done or, or a number of videos I've done in the past, I've, I have utilized this technique quite a bit, but I do want to showcase it in isolation just so that uh, you can see specifically how you could utilize it to in, in, in a few different ways. So what we're looking at here, this is actually a, um, the report we have here. This is, a, is one that is part of the Enterprise DNA webinar series. I ran through how I created this from scratch. I'll leave a link below in the description to the full workshop. So certainly check that out if you have um, have some time and want to see how I built this from scratch. I utilized a number of different techniques, but Switch True was, was one of those. And it was crucial. It was a crucial technique to use. It's really the only way that you could create some of the elements and some of the features of this particular report. Now, what I did was I actually wanted to create a dynamic report. This entire report is actually dynamic. You can select a particular metric, uh, and that's what uh, uh, is um, signified by this metric selected um, measure. Um, so you could select like revenue, costs, or profits, and then return, actually return some results based on that selection. Now the great thing about Switch True is just like nested if statements, it enables you to go and run through um, row by row, in this case, row of each uh, row by row in the formula, run through some logic, evaluate if the logic is true, and if it is true, return a result. But not only can you return a result, you can return basically anything. You can return a measure, you can return a value, you can return text, you can also feed in a um, a table function. I mean, there's lots of different things that you can utilize in here. That's a bit more advanced, but um, but in, in essence, it enables you um, in um, a lots of different formulas, you know, when you're combining formulas, to write quite complex nested if statements in a really effective way. And so in this case, what we're doing, what I've done is I've gone switch true. And so if, uh, and as soon as I do that, it, it evaluates this row and it says, okay, well, if the metric that we selected, so if the selection in the slicer in this case is revenue, well, I want to return this entire total cost measure. So regardless of what in, sits in behind this measure, it goes and calculates it, and it will return that particular result based on the context that this 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 calculation is in. And then I can jump to this uh, the next row, and I can go, well, if the metric selected is cost, we'll then return total cost. If the metric selected is profits, then um, and then return total profits. And then if it's none of those, return something. In this case, I've said just return total sales. But you could make that blank, you can make it anything. Um, uh, it's just the alternative result of nothing. It's basically the false result. So if nothing evaluates to true and all of the di um, different logic that you put inside of Switch, then it's going to return that particular result. And so this pattern, this 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 technique, and, and that's why I wanted to really drill into it today, is just so effective. It's so effective. You can utilize switch true in lots of different situations and lots of different formulas. You can utilize it in, um, uh, in uh, say, a calculate statement. You can use it in an iterating function. You can use it in lots of different ways. So anytime you come across a situation where you, you've got to think, oh, I've got to evaluate through a lot of logic. Um, it could be in a measure. It could be in a calculated column. Switch true true is probably a much better alternative than nesting lots of different if statements in Power BI, okay, and, and, and in your reports and in your measures, okay, and so I highly recommend um, just, just coming to terms or, or understanding this um, this technique, these um, um, placing the, the, these these functions together um, because you can extract a lot of, of really effective insights um, from doing so. And so just a review of like what this actually does. So just remember, so it evaluates is a metric selected, what metric it is selected, and then it returns a measure based on that. Well, this entire report, if I just come here, so I can select revenue and it changes the entire report. I can select costs and it can change the entire report. I select profits and it can change the, everything that's showcasing in the in, in the report. And so that's what you know one thing that um, switch by utilizing switch true it enables you to do. Okay, so just a reminder, I'll I'll actually leave this as uh, I will uh, put a link below in the description to the full. Uh, workshop. So if you do want to review all of it, certainly um, certainly spend some time in doing so. If you want to play around with this particular uh, report, so that you can you know, see how it all works yourself, and and, um, and and maybe try and work out how it's how it's built in behind the scenes, because it's a little bit more than just um, just what I showcased today. But I just wanted to highlight um, switch true. 
you can actually go to the enterprise DNA showcase page and uh, it is there so you can actually use utilize the live demo um, it's under regional performance uh, and you can um, have a play around and, and see all the great insights that you can extract by um, by utilizing um, some of these techniques especially switch true but then also lots of other ones like cumulative total moving averages ranking techniques visualization techniques lots of modeling techniques lots of lots of really cool um, and really effective ways uh, to develop power bi models okay Hopefully you got a lot out of this one. Hopefully you can um, integrate switch the switch true logic and the switch true technique in, into your reports. Um, and certainly subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV, putting a lot of content out there on, on Power BI. So certainly want to get that to you um, as soon as it comes out. Okay, all the best.